guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do a full body Pilates workout today with weights. So if you have some small light dumbbells, they will be perfect. If you don't have any weights at all, you can also do this workout without. So let's get started. As always, you will just need your mat, some water and a nice space to work out in. So let's get started. We're gonna start standing. You can leave your weights for now. Just standing all the way up, feet hip width apart. Just roll your shoulders all the way down your spine. You're gonna take some roll down. So you're gonna tuck the chin into the chest, rolling all the way down through the spine, feeling a nice massage through every single vertebrae. Bend your knees at the bottom when you need to and slowly roll all the way back up again. Your head is the last thing to arrive. Good, take a deep inhale at the top and exhale as you roll all the way down. One vertebrae at a time, softly bending the knees. Good, let the head relax at the bottom and coming all the way back up. Good, on this last one, just stay at the bottom. So rolling all the way down, feel your spine and take a nice stretch, stretching the right leg and the right arm all the way up to the sky, looking up to your fingertips and coming back to center. Do the same on the other side. Stretch the left arm and the left leg. Look all the way up. Really stretch your fingertips. Good. Then coming back to center. Slowly roll all the way up again. Bending your knees. Good. And now you're going to just step your feet out. Nice and wide. So you're going to have each toe facing each corner of the room. Taking your arms out to the side. Making sure your shoulders are rolled down. Your back then are up to your ears. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale as you stretch all the way over to the side of the room, keeping your chest nice and open to the front of your space. Good, just keep breathing here, feeling a nice stretch for your side body. And inhale, coming up and over through center, over to the other side, keep looking all the way forward, making sure your chest doesn't turn towards your leg. Good, that's it, really nice. And from here, you're just going to let your body fall all the way to center, placing your hands on the floor. Bend your knees, feeling a nice stretch for the hip flexors, and stretch. Softly bend, and stretch. One more like this, and stay where you are. You're just going to swing your body side to side over your legs, feeling a nice stretch for your hamstrings. Good, we're gonna get started soon with some plies, so just enjoy the stretch for a moment. Good, placing your hands on the floor, softly bend your knees and slowly, slowly roll all the way up. Good job, so from here, grabbing hold of your weights if you've got them, if you've not, you can absolutely do this without. So we're gonna take our plies now. So we're gonna softly plie all the way down, bringing your arms just to shoulder height and then take it all the way back down to your side. So inhale here, come all the way down, bending your knees and all the way back up again. Squeeze in your glutes, squeeze your core nice and tight and try to keep your spine nice and straight so you don't fall forward. You're keeping everything nice and straight and projected. Knees over toes, good. Getting as low as you can in that plie. Your arms will fatigue quite quickly, but that's okay. Adding some extra strength into today's workout. Good, keep going here for eight. Seven, make sure you breathe. Four, six. Last five. Four more, keep squeezing your core. Everything's nice and tight. Last three. Two. Last one, good, coming all the way up this time. You're gonna take your single arm all the way down. As you press your foot over the balls of your feet and alternate sides each time, lifting that heel super high. Good, and making sure that arm only comes to shoulder height. That's it, really nice. Press that knee over the toe. Good, lifting that heel all the way up, working your calf muscle. Four, eight. Seven. Good, keep pushing here. Six. Four, five. Last four, three, two, 
Last one, hold everything out. Heels are down, arms stay lifted. Pulls here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the arms, really good work guys. Taking your arms all the way down now. You're gonna come back into your plie, dropping the weights, coming all the way down. Take your arms out in front of you. You're gonna work on your heels. So you're just gonna alternate sides. Taking your right heel up, your left heel up. We don't need weights for this one. It's hard enough on your heels. <laughs> Keep pushing over, over, over. Stay down like you're in a box. Don't come up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold both heels up. Keep breathing here. Press the legs all the way out. Squeeze your core. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. Fold yourself all the way over. Press your hands on the floor. Rock your hips side to side for a little moment. Good. That's it, guys. Really nice work. From here, just walk your feet all the way into center. Bend your knees and slowly roll all the way up. Good job. From here, you're going to come all the way down. Then we're going to be in center. So just press your weight underneath your hands. Your hands are going to be in line with your shoulders. And your knees are going to be in line with your hips. Making sure your knees are, sorry, your ears are away from your shoulders so you're not concaving. Press your shoulders away. Squeeze your core nice and tight. You're going to extend your right leg long. And it's going to lift just in line with your hip. Nothing crazy, just in line with the hip. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale as you lower yourself onto your mat. Elbows into your waist. And inhale to come back to center. Good. So keep those toes pointed. The legs should feel extra long. Keep extending. Squeezing the glutes. Squeezing the core and pressing your hands into the mat. Good. Really nice, keep squeezing. That's it, just eight more like this. Exhale. Seven. Four, six. Keep your eye line at the front of the mat. Four, five. Four, four. Keep pushing, getting as low as you can, keeping those, el those elbows in. Four, three, two, last one. Good, coming all the way up. Keep that leg where it is. From here, you're going to lift your left arm, so your opposite arm, and then you're going to pull everything into center. Squeeze the core really tight, then extend the arm and the leg out again. Good. Keep pressing the opposite hand into that weight for stability. That's it, really nice. Point those toes, keep the arm in line with the shoulder and keep squeezing the core. You've got it guys. Just eight. Seven. Really squeeze and pause in the middle. Four, six. Feel your core. Five. Last four. Embrace the wobble. Three. Two. Last one. Squeeze everything. Good, and drop that weight all the way down. Just take that weight onto the other side. Give your hands a little bit of a break. I know it can hurt a little bit. So just stretch your arms all the way out and give your wrist a bit of a circle. Good. From here, we're going to be on all fours without the weights now. So just give a little break with the weights. You're going to have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees in line with the hips again. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. You're going to bend your right knee, lift all the way up. Good. So you're going to just stay in line with your hips. Again, don't interrupt the lower back by taking it crazy. Keep your spine neutral. You're just lifting and lowering that bent leg with a nice flexed foot. Good. The more you flex the foot, the more turned on all your tiny muscles are going to be. 
and engaged your glutes will be. So you're more likely to feel a nice burn throughout this exercise, as opposed to if you just had a floppy foot and you weren't really paying attention. So pressing the floor away, shoulders away from ears, keep squeezing the core, squeeze the glutes, slowly lowering and lifting that leg. Good. We've just got eight more like this. Seven. Six, squeeze the core. Four, five. Four, four. Three. Two. One. Keep that leg lifted. Curl your toes underneath. Lift that knee. And same thing again. Squeezing your core here. Really challenging ourselves to keep nice and steady. Four, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come all the way down with that knee. And we're going to take it to the side. So point the toe this time. Extending out to the side and in. Exhale as you lift. Good. Keep pushing the floor away. Really nice work. Squeezing the glutes as you lift and lower. Good. Shoulders away from ears. Squeeze the core. Four, eight. Seven. Six. Keep going. Keep squeezing those toes. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take tiny pulses with that leg now. Really small. Good. Keep pointing the toes. Four, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming all the way down onto that left elbow. Keep that leg up. Press your right hand on top. You're going to extend that leg nice and long. Take it out to the side. Tap it on the floor. Lift and take it back. This is a killer. We won't be here for long, I promise. Take it out to the side. Tap the floor. Lift and take it back. Try to keep the leg high. I know it's hard. Just keep pushing. Keep pointing the toes. Four, eight. Whew, I'm with you, I promise. This is killing me too. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. Last five. Tap that floor. Last four. Keep your hips stable. Four, three. You're doing really well, guys. Keep pushing. Four, two. Last one. Hold that leg, tiny lifts, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in, push yourself back to child's pose, open your knees nice and wide, drop your chest through your legs, reach the hands forward and take a little stretch here. Rock your hips side to side if you need to. Good. That's it, just keep, take a deep breath here. That's it, coming all the way up. Good, swing your legs around and we're gonna go into some ab work. Just grabbing hold of one weight this time, shuffle forwards to the front of your mat. Feet should be hip width apart, squeezing your core nice and tight, holding this weight directly in front of your shoulders. Lean all the way back, then start to curve your spine into your C curve position and lean all the way up again. Good, so keeping your arms where it is for now, coming down and up, good, really nice, squeezing your core, lean all the way back if you can, then drop down into your C curve for a little bit more lower and then come all the way up, good, keep squeezing your core the whole time, nice guys and keeping that arm at shoulder height, good, that's it, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, Exhale to lower, good, dropping into that C curve. Really nice work guys, just eight more like this. You've got it. Seven. Six. Four, five. Four, four, this weight feels heavy now. Four, three, keep squeezing. Four, two. 
Last one, coming all the way back. Good, bending those arms in, take a little second, reaching yourself forward. Good job, guys. From here, we're gonna go all the way down, okay? So, you're gonna keep your arms in front of you for now. You're gonna roll all the way down, slowly, slowly, control yourself. Bring your arms just up to shoulder height, tuck your chin to chest, lift yourself up, taking your arms out in front of you again. Good, so inhale here. Exhale as you lower onto the floor, one vertebrae at a time. Arms just come to shoulder height. Squeeze your core, lifting up. Good, exactly. Keep squeezing everything. The slower you take yourself to the mat and the slower you lift yourself off the mat, the better because you're really working your core the more slow you move. Good job, guys. Just eight more like this. That's it. Four, seven. Last six. Coming all the way down, guys. Squeeze your core. Tuck your chin to chest. Last five. Last four. Just three more, guys. Almost done. Squeeze your core. Lower nice and slowly. You've got it. Keep pushing. Last two, last one guys, good. Coming all the way down, that's it, really nice work. Keeping your arms, my bun is in the way. <laughs> Keeping your arms above your shoulders now. From here, we're gonna take our legs into a tabletop position. From here, you're gonna lower your left leg and take that arm behind your head, good. And bring it back to center. Inhale here, exhale to lower your left leg and your arms above your head, making sure your lower back stays on the floor. If your lower back starts to lift, then don't take your legs as low or your arms as far back. Good, but try and control your core here, using your lower abdominals to lower that leg and lower the arm. Good, exactly. Keep pushing here. I've had to balance myself on my button. That can't be good. <laughs> take an inhale here, exhale to lower. Again, the slower, the better. Keep squeezing your lower abdominals as you move your arms and legs. Four, eight. Good. Last seven. Four, six. Hopefully you're feeling your core nice and switched on by now. Four, five. Last four. Nice and slow and controlled. Four, three. Good. Two. Last one, I'm sure you've guessed what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take double legs with the arm. Inhale here, exhale to lower both legs and your arm and then bring everything back to center. Good, inhale. Exhale as you lower, control the legs. Don't change the shape of the leg as well. We don't wanna see the leg closing. Everything remains the same. You're just hinging those legs from the hip. So you're just lowering. Notice my legs don't change shape at all. Good, this should really be working your core now. Last eight. Last seven. Almost done, guys. Six. Keep pushing. Last five. Good. Three. Point those toes. Keep the shape of the leg nice and strong. Two. Last one. Good. From here, you're gonna take yourself all the way up again. So for one last time, take your arms above your head, tuck your chin to chest, roll yourself all the way up to seated. Good job. From here, we've got one last exercise. We're gonna go into a bit of a teaser, okay? So you're gonna come back into your strong C curve, which I know is nice and strong now because we've practiced, and you're gonna lift your right leg off the tabletop and your left leg off the tabletop. We're just gonna stay here, okay? From here, you're gonna extend your right leg take it back, extend your left leg, take it back, hold your arms nice and steady, squeezing that weight in front of you, just extending and bringing back, extend and bring back. Good, just squeezing your core here, guys. This is the last part of our abs challenge, four, 10. Nine, lean in further back if you can. Eight, keep pushing. Seven, 
point those toes. Six, five, four, last three we're gonna hold. Two, one, extend both legs now, hold here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come all the way up, drop that weight. We are gonna use it again now, but just have a little session. From here, just cross your legs and rest all the way forward, reaching your fingertips in front of you. And just take some deep breaths here, resting, taking yourself side to side if you need to. Good. Really nice, slowly come all the way up, guys. Swing yourself around to the other side for our glutes, okay? But we are gonna start with our push-up again. So, taking your weight underneath your shoulders again, exactly. This time, you're going to extend your left leg. So we're gonna go straight into it, yeah? Take that left leg out long next to you, making sure you're not overextending. You're keeping your leg in line with your hips. Take a deep inhale here. We're gonna lower the arms, elbows into the waist, nose kisses the mat, and come all the way up. Inhale here, exhale to lower. Good, working your upper body strength here and keeping your core nice and tight whilst your leg is long and fully extended. We don't wanna see this, we wanna be full extension. Squeeze the toes, really point them. Good. Extending through your spine, four, eight. Seven, keep pushing here guys, keep your eye line in front of you. Four, six, elbows into the waist. Four, five, exactly. Last four, you've got it. Three, two, one more guys. Keep that leg lifted. Take that right arm off now. Pull everything into the center. Squeeze the core. Take a pause before you take it back. Make sure you're squeezing as hard as you can. Good. Taking everything out in front of you. Squeeze that leg long. Pull everything in. Good. Make sure your neck is long. That's it, just eight. Seven, keep pushing, I know it's uncomfortable. Six, squeeze, five. Last four, three, two, last one, and drop it all down, good job. Take the weights to the side. Just pop them out of the way. We don't need them right now. And coming straight into it now. So hands in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. You're taking your left leg up. Flex that foot, lifting up and down. Squeezing the glutes. Squeeze the core and really exaggerate that flex. Good. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Again, the slower you do this, the better. The slower and more controlled you do everything in Pilates, the better. We want to really test our core strength. Keep squeezing here. Good. Making sure that knee just comes in line with the other one. Keep pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Don't slouch. Good. Pushing here for eight. Seven. Six. Last five. Four. Three. Two, one, from here, bring that leg down. Tuck the right toes under, lift the knee. Same thing again, lifting up and down. Just eight, keep squeezing. Seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Coming all the way down, guys, good job. Point those toes this time, taking your hand, sorry, taking your knee all the way out to the side and in. Keep pushing, you're almost done. Just out to the side with the toes nice and pointed, keeping your hips nice and square so you're not rocking side to side. Spine is neutral, squeeze the core, keep pressing the floor away. Four, eight, seven, six, five, Last four, three, two, 
want. Stay lifted for the pulses. Keep pushing here, guys. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming all the way down. Pressing your right arm into the floor and your left arm rests on top. Good. Extend that leg long. Point the toes. Pull the leg in front. Tap the floor. Lift and take it back. You're almost done here. This is the most evil part of class, I think. Keep pointing those toes, squeeze the core. Just eight. Keep breathing, seven. Four, six. Last five, keep pushing. Squeeze both glutes, four, four. Almost done. Four, three, tap that floor, keep pointing the toes. Four, two, don't let the leg relax. Last one, tiny pulses here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way in, guys. Take your knees out to the side. Press yourself all the way back. Take a little stretch here. Good. Take some deep breaths. Really nice. From here, slowly roll up. We have got one last challenge. We're going to finish with a strong plank with weights, okay? And then I promise we're finished. So let's get straight into it. So taking your, oops, take your weight underneath your shoulders again, and then we're going to step out into your strong plank position. Again, if you don't want to use weights for this or you don't have them, it's absolutely fine. Stepping your feet out into your strong plank. Making sure your feet are nice and wide so you've got a good amount of space to keep yourself moving. We're going to go straight into it. We are going to lift the right arm, pulling the shoulder back. Take it down. Pull that shoulder back. Take it down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Keep pushing here. Trying to keep your hips as still as they can. They will move a little bit, but try and keep them as square to the floor as possible. Four, eight. Keep pushing. Seven, take your time. Six, keep your eye line down. Five, four, four, keep squeezing everything. Three, two, last one. Take it all the way down. Good. From here, stay lifted, guys. Keep your hips low. You're going to take your hips to the sky in your down dog position and stretch your right arm towards that toe. Then take it back. To your strong plank, keeping your hips low. And again, alternating sides. Take your hips into down dog and reach that arm back. Good. Then back to plank, making sure you're squeezing your glutes here and your core all the way around. Good here. Four, five. Keep pushing. Last four. Almost done. Three, making sure you're coming back to a strong plank every time, keeping your hips low. Two, last one, guys. We're going to hold plank, then you're finished. Hold your strong position here. Good. Hips down. Squeeze the core. Holding plank for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, slowly drop your knees. Good job, guys. Stretch all the way back again. Ooh. Good job. Taking your weights off to the side. We do not need those anymore. And then slowly coming all the way up into your deep lunge position. We're going to stretch out the hip flexors. Stepping forward with your right foot. Just let your hips drop to the floor. Feel nice and heavy. Feel your hip flexor open. And take your opposite arm to leg all the way over. Feeling a nice stretch all the way up here through your hip flexor. Keeping your chest facing forward. Reach your fingertips all the way to the side. Just enjoy the stretch now. You've done the hard bit. Good. Taking your hand all the way down and just stretch that leg forward. Taking your weight back towards your feet. Let your head touch your leg. Stretching out your hamstring. Deep breaths. 
and coming all the way forward one last time taking that leg all the way around just swing it round nice and carefully come round to the other side so stepping that left leg forward dropping your hips all the way down taking your opposite arm to leg all the way up and over whoops reach the fingertips good if you're shaking like me that's normal it's an intense workout good just feel your hip flexor open let your hips drop heavy to the floor take that hand all the way down and stretch open your hamstring good just try and breathe here From here, come all the way forward again, then swing that leg all the way around and come to facing the front in your cross leg position. Good. Crossing your legs, place your left hand on the floor and reach all the way up and over. Try not to let this leg come up, try and keep it pushed down. If it does come up, just lift yourself up, that's no problem. Good. Reaching all the way here, feeling a nice stretch for your side body. And then twist your, your chest to face your knee, feeling a nice stretch for your, the side of your lower back here. Good. Swinging yourself all the way around, reaching forward. Enjoy the stretch. Slowly rolling all the way up, head is the last thing to arrive. Good. Right hand comes onto the floor now, reaching all the way up and over to the other side of the room, keeping your chest nice and open. Good. Reach those fingertips. And start to twist your chest towards that knee, reaching forward. Again, feeling a nice stretch for your lower back here. This is one of my favorite stretches. Good. And take yourself all the way forward for one last time. Reach your fingers as far forward as you can. Deep breath and start to come all the way in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Start to roll up. Taking one last inhale here. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Look up to your hands. And exhale, coming all the way down. Thank you so much, guys. That was a really tough one. So if you made it to the end, well done. And I will see you in my next workout video. Thank you.